Hello guys, Sanjay here and welcome back to a new video. Recently, I posted a video on modded Google camera application which allows you to take portrait selfies similar to Pixel 2, Pixel 2 XL and iPhone 10. That video did not go viral as such but many people were interested in that video and many, many, many people were saying that it's not working on their device. So yeah, let's address that issue and I'll talk about why modded Google camera application may not or will not work on your device or why you have to wait for particular update to come for that particular application in order to make it work on your device. But before that, let me talk about something which is very important. First of all, Pixel 2, Pixel 2 XL in Android have the portrait selfie mode, even the Honor V10 has it. And in iPhones, iPhone 10 has the selfie portrait mode. But uh, it's not like you can take the Google camera application from Pixel to Excel and install it in Mi A1 or OnePlus 5 and the portrait mode will start working. It doesn't happen like that. That Google camera application is specifically made for the Pixel to Excel and it will not crash and it will work amazingly good because it's made for Pixel 2 and Pixel 2 XL and other devices. And these devices will cost you 60, 70,000 or if you buy the iPhone 10, you should not. But if you buy that, it will cost you 1 lakh rupees. So basically you have to pay a premium price if you want those portrait selfies on your device. But a developer known as Arnova G82 has managed to port this Google camera application present on Pixel 2 devices to work on other devices. So basically how did he manage to do that? He had to do a lot of changes in the APK file and there are many other technical things which he had to do in order to make it work on other devices and that requires a lot of technical skills. I am pretty much sure about that because putting a Google camera application which is made to work only on Pixel 2, Pixel 2 XL to other devices is not an easy task at all and many of you guys were concerned that it's not working on your device. First of all, let me talk about what are the best scenarios to make it work. If you have Android Oreo installed on your device 8.0 or 8.1, if you have camera to API enabled on your device. Third thing, if you have the latest processor and that to Qualcomm processor, processors such as Qualcomm Snapdragon 820, 821, 835, Snapdragon 625, 630 and 400 series processors do not support it as of now as far as I know. And if you have these three conditions, then the chances of camera working on your device are very high. Similar to Mi A1, the Google camera application works super fine on the Mi A1. It can take portrait selfies and portrait mode photos with the rear facing camera. No issues whatsoever. It works super fine with my Redmi 5 Plus 2. But the portrait mode selfies do not work on the Redmi 5 Plus. It does not work at all on the Honor V10 because this Honor V10, even though it has camera to API enabled, does not have Qualcomm Snapdragon processor. It has Kirin processor. And this brings me to the next point. If you have any device with Kirin processor, Exynos processor, Exynos processor includes majority of Samsung devices such as Samsung Galaxy A5, J series phones, On series phones. All these phones have Exynos processors and Xiaomi's own processor which no one cares about. All these three processors will not be supported by this modded Google camera application as of now. Future updates may enable the support but right now these devices are not going to get the modded Google camera application straight away like that. Now there is one more important thing. This OnePlus 5 has Snapdragon 835 processor which is the latest one. Camera 2 API enabled and uh, it is based on Android Oreo. Still the modded Google camera application does not work out of the box on this device and that's because OnePlus has recently released an update which is 5.0.1 with which uh, they have changed few hardware settings for the camera application. So if you want the modded Google camera application to work on your device, you have to flash Magisk module, then only it will work on your device. I got it working on this device, but still selfie portraits are not working for me. How do you know how to make it work? What is the solution to do that? First of all, visit xdadevelopers.com, then click on this search plus icon. Once the site is completely loaded, write down that your device's name over here. I'm going to write down OnePlus 5 because let's see what people have to say about this. Once you get to this thing, Go to this themes, apps and this section here and this will be same for every single device. Now find a thread which is made for Google camera app. This particular thread is present on the OnePlus 5 which is dedicated to all the Google camera updates and uh, it, you will get the latest updates from here too. And people keep on posting about the solutions that you can follow in order to make it work on the OnePlus 5. Same is the case with the Redmi Note 3. This is the thread of Redmi Note 3 where you can find solutions to almost everything. If you can't get anything to work on your device, you can simply go to 
question and answer section on this particular forum and make sure you post questions in your uh, devices page itself. If you have the OnePlus 5, post the questions in the question and answer section of the OnePlus 5 forum only. And most probably someone from the community will help you to get the Google camera application working on your device. Now someone tweeted me saying uh, I have the Asus Zenfone 2 with Snapdragon 625, Android Oreo and things like that but it's still not working. Why? Then there is something else too. Your device's software may not support the modded Google camera application straight away. As I said, visit the xdadevelopers.com website, go to your devices section and search for solutions which people have posted. Uh, I don't know why people were expecting this Google modded Google camera application to work like this and they'll just install like this and it will start working. I, I really wish that it was that easy. It will be that easy in future updates like after a year or so. It might be really easy to get the portrait mode working on any device but right now you will have to find different solutions and let me tell you Arnoa 8G2 who is working on this camera application and he who is manipulating the application to make it work on many devices is doing it for free basically he is not getting paid. All the developers who work on xdadevelopers.com do not get paid even though you see ads on xdadevelopers.com that does not mean that the ad money goes to developers that remains to xdadevelopers.com like whoever owns that. Developers work for free so I do not expect Arnoa 8G2 to, to fix everything like this or in a week or something like that. I will surely give him time to work on the camera application and there is one most important thing this camera application will keep on receiving updates which will keep on fixing bugs which may add a few bugs in the future which may drop support for portrait uh, selfies in particular like version like 1.4 does not support selfie portrait mode but 1.3 does support it so what you can do is uninstall the 1.4 version and install the 1.3 version instead now there is one more thing you can change the hdr parameters and model according to your device like a oneplus 5 may need different parameters as compared to redmi note 3 or as compared to mi a1 so try playing around with the settings to get it working if you want it to work right now only xdadopers.com is the best website to visit if you want the solution because people will be posting solutions over there and if i find any type of solution which makes the application to work on majority of the devices i'll make sure to tweet about it because i don't think so i'll be making a separate video once again to post something which i have already posted but i will be tweeting it so don't forget to follow me on twitter which will be linked in the description box below and these are the devices that i have let me tell you redmi 5a uh, does not support google camera application because uh, it is it is having a snapdragon 425 processor honor view 10 does not support modern google camera application because it is based on uh, it, it is not based on it is having kirin processor uh, redmi 4 5 plus modern google camera application does work on this device but selfie portraits do not work you can click normal selfies and rare camera portraits with this device mi a1 everything works flawlessly on this device because it is having snapdragon 625 processor it is based on android 8.0 and i have installed magisk module 2 and after rooting the mi a1 if your camera has become slow then do not worry download the sc linux manager application which will be linked in the description box below and open it up select the permission as permissive and once you select permissive as the permission on mi a1 camera application will start working flawlessly and you will not have uh, any performance issues on the mi a1 then i have the oneplus 5 where the uh, modded Google camera application is supposed to work but it does not work immediately you have to flash Magisk uh, manager and you have to install a Magisk module to make it work on the OnePlus 5 or even 5T I guess I do not have the 5T right now to test it but on the OnePlus 5 you have to do few things I guess this video will solve all your doubts and do keep checking the post on dhananjaytech.com which will be linked in the description box below so that you will be updated uh, with all the updates that are going on with the Google camera application if you still have any more doubt sessions or queries regarding this video then do let me know about that in the comment section box below if you ask a question like this, why Google camera mod is not working on my device even after this complete video I will not be answering that but if you have any other technical question about the modded Google camera application if you still have any doubts then do let me know about that in the comment section box below if you did not like this video then vote it down but if you enjoyed this video and i if i was able to solve one of your doubts don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up and get subscribed because many more awesome videos like these are going to come real soon on the channel and press the bell icon so that you will get notified about these awesome videos which i keep on posting on the channel so yeah thank you guys thank you for watching making a video making a response video to another video oh my god Yeah, in the lift, yeah.
the comment down man and if you and as i and uh, and do keep checking and do keep checking the post on and do keep checking the post on dhananjaytech.com which will be linked in the description box below so that you will be updated uh, with all the updates that are going on with the google camera application